So I was supposed to record this forever ago, which seems to be a really common theme with me in update videos. It's just, you know, not doing them when I'm supposed to. But my problem was I had no idea how I wanted to film it, if I wanted to use a camera, if I wanted to draw something, and at this point I still have no idea what it's going to end up being. Uh, maybe I'll just throw some gameplay up. I guess you'll know at this point. Hi, Cooper. Hello. In case you guys also can't tell, I do not script these at all. So this is just going to be kind of the mad ramblings of a very pregnant woman, uh, and I will put timestamps here on screen somewhere that explain or show where I'm talking about which thing because there's probably going to be quite a bit covered and I'm sure most of you are only here to hear about what the next Tomo is so that'll be then that'll be then and blah 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 so the main reason that I needed to make this video is because uh, as most of you can probably tell from the craziness that happened a couple weeks ago I got hacked and I got hacked in a really stupid way because I am stupid. I am the big dumb. The re, or not the reason, but the way I got hacked, it wasn't just like some kind of random attack. And I kind of want to talk about it a little bit just so that if you have any sort of following and you're watching this, you can kind of keep an eye out because is it's some pretty sketchy shit and I was stupid to fall for it. So maybe you'll look at me and think that you're an idiot. I'd never fall for that. Or you'd go, oh, shit, I'm about to fall for that. So just to keep it in mind. Anyway, so I got a offer for a video game sponsorship. And I went back and forth with the people a little bit. I'm not going to say what the game is. Just in case for some reason this isn't actually the reason I got hacked. Or there was, or they were using someone else's game as a cover i'd hate to give the actual game a bad name just in case it wasn't their fault but they offered me a sponsorship for a video game and asked for my rates and just sent me some info about what they were expecting which was basically hey we need you to do a 30 to 40 second opener for a video and talk about our game and i was like okay and i gave them my rate and they accepted it and then they sent me a file that was supposed to be a game demo now I know most people or some of the people said that that's kind of sounds sketchy because why didn't they just send you a steam invite or give you a free trial and the steam thing but the game wasn't out yet so it didn't really strike me as odd but it was because I tried to launch the thing and it didn't work and I shot an email back to the people and said, hey, I tried to open your demo, but the file isn't working. It's just not doing anything. Uh, let me know if I need to do something differently. And then I didn't hear back from them. And two to three days pass, and I don't think anything of it. And then I wake up one day, and my account is inaccessible, or my email is inaccessible. And I immediately freak out because that was the email that had all my bank information and I went and changed all my passwords as fast as I could because I couldn't get back into the email. In the span of a minute, they changed my recovery email, my recovery phone number, and just every possible way I could reaccess that account. So there was nothing I could do to get back into the email at the time and I was in the middle of getting ready for work. So I quickly changed all my bank info and then went into work. And so someone messaged, or I get a bunch of ads on or I started the again I don't script these I'm just kind of talking um so I got on or I posted on Twitter that I was like oh what a shitty morning I my email got hacked and then someone replied and said hey you think this is related to your email getting hacked and they showed they sent me a screenshot of my YouTube channel where my name was changed and some random live stream was going off and everyone's kind of just sitting there going hey what the fuck isn't this teddy's account all my channel or all my channel info was gone my videos were either deleted or privated i still not sure exactly which one it was because by the time i got my channel back everything was just on private but i don't know if that was when youtube helping me out and just giving me back my videos that's a another story for another day or i guess for later Anyway, um, a little bit after, like, I started telling or doing what I can to try and talk to YouTube support, but I was struggling because there is no real 
email support with Google. There is YouTube support ish if you talk to them on Twitter, but there's no like proper email um, tech support or anything like that. You just fill out a form and they tell you whether or not they're actually going to help you or not. And spoiler alert, they didn't want to help me. So I got in contact with YouTube support eventually, and they're the ones that actually helped me to get my email back. In the meantime, I guess a lot of you guys must have reported the channel because it got taken down not long after that live stream started, which was probably the best thing to do in this case. Luckily, I was able to get everything back anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. But I started freaking out, of course. It's like, oh, my channel's gone now. At least it's not spouting out bullshit anymore, but it is gone. That's kind of freaking out because that's four years of work gone, and I don't actually have the files for the first two Tomo episodes. So I would have lost those forever if it was like gone, gone. Uh, took, let's see. So all of this had started, like I, my email got hacked at like 1130, no, 1030 in the morning. And I didn't get access to my email again until midnight. Because I did everything on my phone. And so at midnight, they got me back to my email and then two days later, my channel was brought back up. All in all, an extremely stressful time period. Um, and then it gets a little bit worse because, so like I said, I did everything on my phone and I still don't actually have access to my email on my computer. I was able to move all of my stuff over to a different email that I mostly use for business stuff anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. But I just can't get on my computer and check my email anymore because they keep saying that they can't prove it's me, even though I've given them every bit of information I can possibly do to prove it's me. And I have all the recovery emails and phone numbers now properly linked to me, but they won't use them. So that's weird, but what can you do? Not that big of a deal, I guess, in the long run. It's just one of those things that's kind of a pain in the butt. But yeah, so just be careful, guys. Don't download weird things. Grab a, some kind of malware scanner or whatever. Just, just don't, don't, don't be me. Don't be stupid. Um, let's see. So now that I've gone over that and kind of explained what went on, let me go ahead and just give you quick updates on the rest of the channel. So let's see. I know most of you probably care about Tomo and when the next one's coming out tomorrow at the time i'm recording this tomorrow so probably today um i'm gonna be recording with the last main person that needs to do their lines i'm not gonna name names because i don't want to call them out for making me wait i love them very much and there's a reason that i've been waiting instead of like recasting or something because i i hate recasting i've done way too much of it for tomo at this point i'm not doing it again but we're finally able to record, which means that I'll be able to start editing very, very soon. And I'm sure... Okay, I shouldn't say that. I would like to have it out by the end of the month. Is without it. Is, that's how I will say it. At least for patrons. It'll be out by the end of the month. Hopefully. I hate promising things. Because things tend to go wrong. Um, so, sometime February, early March. Um, and then, let's see... The Tis Time for Torture manga dub actually did pretty well, and I enjoyed making it a lot, so we're going to be continuing that, and Sly's already recorded for the next couple of episodes. I'm going to try and edit a bunch of them at once, and then set it up as a backlog, so you'll be getting a new one of those either every month or every other month um, after I have my baby. Speaking of baby, I'm sure a lot of you are asking or don't care, I don't know, but... uh so our due or our, the date we're due is roughly early May and we're having a little boy. And if you don't follow my Twitter, then you probably haven't heard. But I talk about it a lot over there. And honestly, it's like all I talk about right now. Literally every single tweet of mine is some kind of thing talking about my baby. I am sorry if you wanted actual info off of my Twitter account. But yeah, I think that's about it in terms of updates. Let me think. I'm not streaming as much anymore, but um, my husband, Zach, or Taint Brothers, 
is streaming a lot of Minecraft right now, and he hosts his own server that uh, you can join in, and it's modded, and there's a bunch of stuff going on, and I'm not good at Minecraft. I'm like smooth brain and somehow cannot entertain myself when given no direction. So I don't really play on there a lot, but it looks a little, it's very pretty. It looks a lot of fun. There's a lot of weird stuff going on that everyone's building. And I'll go ahead and put a link to his YouTube, no, his YouTube, his Twitch channel. That way, if you guys want to join in and you can have fun with all of us. And I'll also throw in a link to my Discord in case you just want a bit more interaction with everything and all the stuff I do and hear me ramble on and on about the daily woes of life and editing. I do a lot of that there. And if you just have, like, you know, questions and you ever want to hear, then you can, like, ask me more directly there and I'll try to answer. But I think that's about it. I think. I don't know. It's going to be really rough on videos once a uh, little boy arrives. So I'm trying my best to have stuff prepared. But I'm. It's it, there's probably going to be a bit of a dead zone um, right around April, May. And so I'm going to try to do my best, but we'll see. I have a really, really fun video that I was writing for that sponsorship, but I've slowed down on progress on it because I'm not in a rush anymore because now there's no sponsor and it's just me. This is what I get for trying to sell out. But uh, that will hopefully be out sometime in the next month because I really, really had a lot of fun writing the script for it and I'm looking forward to filming it. I just can't find anywhere to film properly. And I don't like being on camera, so I have to kind of get over that first. But it's going to be really, really fun. And I hope that you guys enjoy that too, because I'd like to do videos like that more. So look forward to that. And finally, uh, if you want extra content, I have been putting a bunch of stuff on Patreon over the last week. Both my recording and Zach's recording for Tis Time for Torture are both available on there, the full recordings, not just the small bloopers. So you can hear like the different inflections and the directions that we get in between. I also threw on there, let's see, the editing commentary, because those are patron only now. And as always, every patron gets all of my videos a week early, unless it is a Twitch highlight video, which is three days early, or if it's an update video, you get it about a day early. So. Lots of good stuff over there if you want to take a look. I'd appreciate it a lot. Um, but I believe that is everything. I know I've said that like three times now, but like I said, I don't script these, so I'm doing everything off of memory. And it probably sounds like I'm running out of breath all the time, because I am, because I don't know how to talk. But thank you all so much for the support. I'm sorry for the craziness. I promise I will try not to be stupid again. And I will never trust another sponsorship ever again. This is what I get for trying to sell out. This is my fault. I just wanted a bit of extra money because baby's on the way and I'm poor. But I've learned my lesson. <laughs> but I love you all. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you on the next video.